Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study lab program 24. Write a program to create a dictionary from a string. Note, track the count of the letters from the string. Sample string, second PU course. Expected output is given over here. Now, let us begin with writing a string. S is equal to, here they have already given second PU course. Here in a double quotation or in a single quotation mark, you can write second pu course and end the double quotation mark that forms a string constant now let us print the same string using print statement here in a double quotation mark i'll write the input string is end the double quotation mark put comma and write yes now i'm going to create an empty dictionary here i'll write the variable called s1 is equal to dictionary and empty braces now i'm going to iterate through this string using for loop for character in yes and put colon so this particular for iterative statement it is going to traverse through all these characters from beginning to end of this string now inside this for loop with the indentation space i'm going to check out one condition if character in s1 if this condition is true then with indentation space i'm going to write s1 of character that is dictionary of character must get increment its value by one so plus is equal to one i'm going to write if this is false then else part will get executed else and colon here i'm going to write yes one of character is equated with value one next with alignment of this for loop i'm going to write print statement in a double quotation mark the dictionary created from the characters of the string is and the double quotation mark and here I'm going to write yes one now let us execute and see its output here i'm going to write output once we run this program it is going to print the input string is then it is going to print the value stored in variable s yes. so that is second pu course will be printed as it is now so we are going to create an empty dictionary for character in s so it is going to traverse through this string and if character in s1 if the first character is already present in s1 then it has to increment its value by one otherwise else part s1 of character is equal to one will be equated so here for the first time the first character is two dictionary is empty right now and here if character in s1 no because 2 is not at all present in a dictionary because it is empty right now hence this condition will be false if this condition is false then else part will get executed so s1 of character that is 2 is equated with the value 1 so here 2 is equated with value 1 once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of character in s so now it is going to point to the second character called n next we'll check out if character in s1 so before this only 2 is present in the dictionary now n is inserted this condition is false once again so control transfers to else part and s1 of character that is n is equated with value 1 so here i'm going to put comma n is equated with value 1 once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of character by 1 and it is going to point to the next character called d 
you can observe here if character in s1 that is d in s1 so previously d is not present so this is the first time that we have d in dictionary so hence this condition is false else part will get executed once again here d is equated with value 1 once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of character by 1 now you can see here we have got blank space if blank space in s1 so previously there was no blank space at all hence it is going to put single quotation mark and colon this is only once because this particular condition will become false else part will get executed again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of a character by one now it is going to point to p so we'll check out this condition if p in s1 no it is not present previously hence else part will get executed so here p is again equated with the value one once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of character by one and it is going to point to lower case letter u now we'll check out the character u in s1 so previously it is not available hence u is equated with value one next once again control transfers to for loop next here you can observe after u we have got blank space if blank space in s1 yes we have already blank space in s1 so here blank space will get incremented by one so this condition is true hence s1 of blank space is incremented by one this blank space value will become two once again control transfers to for loop and it is going to point to next character called c and it is going to check out whether the c is present in the dictionary previously or not here this condition will become false else part will get executed so here c is equated with value one once again control transfers to for loop it is going to point to o so o is not present in the dictionary previously hence o is equated with value one once again control transfers to for loop it is going to point to u so here you can observe u is already present in the dictionary so this is the second time u has appeared here c is incremented with value two because it has appeared two times now once again control transfers to for loop and it is going to point to r so r is not present in the dictionary so hence r is equated with value only one next once again control transfers to for loop next it is going to point to yes if yes in s1 so it is not present hence else part will get executed yes is also equated with value one once again control transfers to for loop and it is going to point to e so e is not present previously hence this particular condition will become false else part will get executed even e is equated with value one so after this iteration the control jump over to the print statement and it is going to print the dictionary created from characters of the string is and here s1 will print all of these characters in a curly open and closing braces here two has appeared once n has appeared once and next d has appeared once and blank space has appeared twice and p appeared once u appeared once c appeared twice next o appeared once r appeared once yes appeared once and e appeared once and after that curly closing brace now it's time to execute this program let us execute and check out the result here we have come to vs code let us click on new file and here i'm going to type lab24.py and press enter here you can observe we have come to lab24.py file let us write s is equal to in a double quotation mark i'm going to write second pu course and now i'm going to fast forward this particular part of the video so that we can save our time
now it's time to save this file by pressing control s and let us go to run click on start debugging click on python debugger click on python file debug the currently active python file now it is going to execute and show the result here you can observe the input string is second pu course and the dictionary created from the characters of the string is two has appeared once n has appeared once d has appeared once and blank space appeared twice p has appeared once u has appeared twice c has appeared once and o has appeared once r has appeared once s has appeared once and e has appeared once i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood if you want to check out this program along with the flowchart then the link is given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video till the end and we'll see you in the next video